Hi guys, welcome to another video and we can see I've opened Bollinger Bands today. I also ate chocolate ice cream and I'm kind of pumped up today while making this video. So the reason I'm opening Bollinger Bands now is I'm waiting for a big move to be coming, especially in four hours, day time frames and also six hour, 12 hours. But usually don't people don't use them because they have free accounts. But on TradingView, you can make other other time frames as well, like six hours, 12 hours. But ideally, we are waiting for a big move to be coming in four hours. We've been quite sideways here because this is consolidating. So you can clearly see usually when they get tighter, like in situations like this, we expect a big move to be coming in the market and they are beginning to squeeze in. So hopefully we can. And right now we are taking support from 50 MA, which is a good sign. We can have a bounce like similar to this or we can come back into the ranges of 40,000. So if you want to use Bollinger Bands too, do use it. It's a very, very good tool. So now we're going to close this and get into our crypto greed and fear index so we get into the index something interesting that i found today and i think i'm pretty hyped about that is giving me some kind of signs that we are getting somewhere closer to the bottom we are at 31 today but we don't want to really see at the number but we're going to see in three months frame so if we usually when we used to pump into 40 thousands before we usually used to get into 50 40s but now we were only at 31 like of today and we still have a very good uptrend right now here so looks pretty pretty good and we should remain in this kind of substance for some time and be pretty sideways consolidate make two to three retests of our danger zone once we are confirmed that our danger zone is now turning into support will be amazing bad sign now immediately in signs if we look into it is that we are facing a lot of rejections yeah, so, both rejection are here. so we have to be patient wait for it wait for the things to consolidate wait for the market to give us clean signs even if i zoom out and look into our macd macd is also turning now into short situations so we just have to be very very careful and not get into trades and rush last week we had very very good profits in a lot of coins so we want to continue that and not just get into it because we want to trade usually you always have to wait for the market to give you trades and be patient now we look at bubbles bubbles look all right pretty good some are pretty red and some are pretty green lrc is about 31 percent etc went about 9.9 percent .9%. it's about up about ten dollars if we get into luna we can clearly see luna was down pretty much yesterday it was very very close to our zones we're going to look into that in our charts it was at 92 dollars now it's about at 95 dollars looks all right ar other coins are pretty sideways and down and out right now just have to be patient to get into trades in them as well so just be patient and wait for a very good good opportunity to be coming and then only we can be very certain main thing i want to discuss today is dreamverse dreamverse is going to be a massive massive metaverse which is going to be very very interesting they had a battle launch yesterday that started on march 22nd looks amazing you can even see some pictures here they have some kind of robots they have apes they have a lot of things going on what i really like was the architecture and the, the way the graphic designers made this this is just something absolutely amazing secondly the land is very very cheap you can get land for 300 dollars to almost forty thousand dollars that's the reason i am really going to be insisting to everybody to get into this and you can only get their avatars basically the robots on gate.io so you have to buy them on gate.io nfts if you see mine is just only four dollars you can even get a mystery box one which is going to be somewhere around 30 to 40 dollars as well which is very very reasonable there's no gas fees so ideally it would be a best thing for everybody to enter another very good thing i want to share with you guys today is we have a super egg that is made by one of my very good friends nftsi and it's just arsenal edition because i'm a huge arsenal fan and it says super x arsenal omimis edition i am very very excited about that i love these guys these guys made sweet bunnies they have also made punks lately their projects are extraordinary and looks amazing if you want to just see it for once also it just looks amazing i'm really really proud of it because i am a huge arsenal fan since i was seven years old so this means a lot to me and i'm very excited about it now we get into some serious business and look into the ones that we did aim into yesterday we're seeing about a 719 percent upside on falcons we are also seeing good upside on metaware has just come down to 45 percent so went up about 2000 percent is only down 45 percent it is still very very good that means that the market still has a lot of confidence then we had galaxy blitz it's about 520 percent so all the coins have gone up very very high even if we look at the metaverse coin that we were aping into yesterday it's about 893 percent so very very interesting science all these projects looks amazing so if you are part of the startups best place for you would be to get into them in startups if you aren't then you just have to be patient wait for it wait for the good days to come until your account goes to vip level otherwise you can just buy them on newly listed don't waste the opportunity on getting them on newly listed because these are the best opportunities in the market they have massive upsides right now and obviously everybody knows these kind of upsides are very very good everybody want to take benefits of these upsides now we have Juventus token coming out which i am very very excited about we have about 20 hours to go if you want to aim into them you can if you can't 
then just wait for it to come on newly listed then you can go for it too and then we have wizardia which is going to be something amazing as well it's going to be a play to earn game which is going to be having role playing strategy we don't have many play to earn games with role playing strategy so i'm very very bullish on that as well then we have constellation network that is going to be web3 blockchain infrastructure another something utility based i always encourage utility utility based projects because they always have good upsides then we have Celestia, which is going to be a multi-chain metaverse video game. Looks amazing as well. So today we have a lot of stuff going on in startup. You can choose whichever you want. But ideally, obviously, you have to get the Juventus one because Juventus is one of the best football clubs out there and has won so many Champions League. So I'm sure it's going to pump pretty hard. And we have Bora Bora as well. But for me, I am looking at Celestia. I'm looking at Constellation. I'm looking at Wizardia and Juventus as well. Um, hopefully, I might not be able to get all of them. But I'm definitely going to be getting into Juventus and Wizardia because I think these two are going to be very, very important for us. And I'm very, very bullish on making big bags, especially when it comes to metaverse tokens and get them early as early as possible. We've seen what has happened in Decentraland and Sandbox. So you don't want to miss out on these kind of opportunities. And this will be the best time for you to get into them as well. Now let's get into big data. If you look at the big data today, we can clearly see we're still even Stevens right now, even in block trades and global data as well. And now even if we get into liquidation data, we're seeing continuously that people are getting liquidated in long positions in Ethereum, in BTC, in short positions. So when you when we are even Stevens, I ideally don't like to trade because you know you are gonna take a trade on long, then you're gonna get liquidated, then you're gonna think because you got liquidated, you're probably gonna think about shorting the market, and then you're gonna get liquidated in shorts as well. So overall, just just have to be pretty careful here right now. We haven't seen big numbers as well, small, small liquidations. So I guess we're going to be pretty sideways right now until we get into the markets at some point where we can be very certain about what is the next action coming, which is very, very likely. I think sometime tomorrow evening, we are, we are going to be seeing some big signs coming. If you do want to get into Gate.io, I'm going to add the description link below with my referral code and just sign up and get into newly listed coins, buy NFTs. Obviously, if you buy the Reimburse NFT, you are going to get some rewards as well. So probably if you are going to be spending four or five dollars, you're also going to get some airdrops surely. So that is already going to cover the cost that you're going to buy the NFT for. So that's going to be very, very helpful for everybody. Now let's get into some news. News has a lot of action lately. So we need to find out what is exactly happening. A lot of news surrounding about the Fed. So the Fed here also said that there will be have to be new rules, laws, frameworks to deal with digital currencies. We do not know how some digital products will behave in the times of market stress. Obviously, some coins, we have no idea how they're going to be performing. There's so many coins. I still remember we had 11,000 coins right now. We have about 17 to 18,000 coins. That is just insane in a span of few months. And then even if you look at the war part, we have Russia to defend ruble gas payments from hostile states. There's a lot of problems going on in that. We don't want to get too deeply involved in it. Good thing is that China is pretty much pumping its own market. Now we look into UK's inflation has jumped to about 6.2% in february high since march 1992 things are going pretty bad there as well they had already increased 50 basis points which look pretty pretty bad and i think if they're going to increase now probably it's going to be 75 basis points which is going to be pretty crazy as well and even treasury yield right now extend to surge about 2.40 high since may 2019 things are looking quite exhausting when we look at both the economies especially the western economies right now are suffering pretty pretty bad because of this war and also pre-covid conditions where we had vaccinations and the world was already in lockdown so now we look into BTC, we are consolidating in this zone as we discussed, we want to stay in this range. We don't want to break down and come back to our resistance level. That wouldn't be good for us ideally. And even if you look into the volume right now, volume has again disappeared from the market. We had good volume here, some selling volume here as well. But for now, we don't have much volume coming into the market. The last volume we had was, was yesterday. Today, there hadn't been much volume action. I guess that is because everybody know on Friday that Biden is going to be visiting Poland. So everybody has some kind of fud there and obviously, Powell has been speaking every day with his statements that is definitely affecting the markets. Now we look into uh, Ethereum as well. We can clearly see Ethereum is also facing some resistance here. Similar situation in both of them. If you look at it, both are getting rejected from the resistance level, which is very interesting. We do want to break above that. We did. And then just one week or two weeks. And now this is why we are going to be waiting for a retest to happen. Now we are getting closer for the retest. Maybe we will face rejection here. Ideally, four to five retests are necessary sometimes we break out on the third retest also but at least twice is very very good that is going to be a very very healthy sign for us right now there's not much action in the coins that we recommended because we already made good upsides on them last week but we're still going to be very patient we're going to stick to them because we know they are very strong utility based coins and we want to just match them and just take them with them so we can build a very good portfolio as well 
right now we look closely we are building a very nice double bottom right now we want to come back up to 33 levels for the double bottom to be completed and then probably we can go back into our trend and also test above 36 dollars which is going to be a very very good sign when it comes to AR. yet again just have to be patient because if we look at the magdi right now it's very very close to its convergence once the convergence happen like i always say then you can take entries for now just be patient you know there's no no point rushing into trades when there are no trades in the market those trades ideally bring you a lot of loss now, even if you look into AVAX, we can clearly see the momentum is coming down right now. RSI is also kind of coming down better than before. We haven't seen much divergences yet. Also, we made an M pattern, didn't complete it. But because we didn't complete an M pattern, if you go back to the day time frames or six hour time frames, we are now making a W pattern here. That would be amazing for us because we, that will bring us to break out above $92. I'm quite bullish on AVAX because AVAX has been performing pretty well on, on chain. They are rewarding people very highly with their validations because every blockchain need validators and validators are performing really, really well lately and i've also been part of the discord so i can clearly see what's happening on the on chain now let's get into luna luna did come down to these levels was pretty pretty close to our first level went all the way to 89 dollars we just matched this line pretty well and then after that we had a very good upside and now we just been consolidating in these zones a big upside but volume isn't matching with it right now probably we're gonna see more volume to be coming in luna as well we can clearly see that luna is in a very strong downtrend when it comes to volume we want to get to the volume levels of this or at least somewhere in these levels that we that brought us very good upsides previously that's gonna match our historical data as well for now it's just been pumping looking very very good we started the pump from 93 dollars already about testing about 96 dollars looks good if we do break above this or face another resistance from here should be a good sign because we want to come back retest we've already faced one rejection similar situation right now to what happened in ethereum and btc so that looks very very good for us right now and now if we get into rune rune also has similar upside going on and sideways movement we did expect it to come here just came down about a few cents difference so just came in my zone beautifully and ideally now we would expect it to build some kind of support even if it gets rejected it's going to come in the second zone hopefully ideally best place would be that it do bounce from here come back in trend probably we're going to face some kind of resistance coming into trend for the first time but then ideally we would break above that because we do know that dex is coming very very soon a lot of stuff going on between luna and rune as well and pretty much whatever we were expecting from rune from early december and january was delayed to march and february and now we're clearly seeing those signs coming in since we started pumping from 9th of march looks pretty pretty good looks very very good everything about this is good sand has been pumping really well as well obviously we would advise you to get sand but if you can't for some people who don't have big bags ideally they want to get into coins that they can afford right now in the market omg is also performing pretty well right now a lot of coins are doing pretty much very very well but ideally we know this from everything of my experience that we have to have BTC and ETH performing really well in order for us to expect some kind of big upside to be coming. Right now, we're heading for a few retests. Just monitor this and hopefully once we do break above this and our MACD ship quickly, then we can be very, very bullish and take some big entries. I just want to say to everybody in Pakistan, happy Pakistan day. And thank you to NFTSI for giving us an amazing Omi Miss edition arsenal super egg that is gonna be something i'm very very honored about so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like today's video if you do smash the like button share it with your friends because everybody can now join dreamverse so don't forget to subscribe to my channel smash the like button and see you guys tomorrow